worship these animal machines too and consider our parents as false prophets. But what saddens me at times that we be in the news for the wrong reason. Because what we say is different from what we do. And what we hope or expect has nothing to relate to what we do. And this is what for hypocrisy. If I start talking about it, I would like to pack it into the four different categories. And the very first is Indian women. We all worship Lord Durga, Kali, Gaiti, and the list goes on. But how do we treat women in our dear life? We all suggest and teach our daughter to dress well, come home on time, make a right set of friends. But have we ever taught our boys to respect women with the same sincerity that they respect his mom and dad, mom and sister? Talk about Indian marriage. We all teach our daughter to stay away from the stranger, but we force them to marry a one. Arranged marriage. With due respect to all, look at the insanity and inhumanity of the past. I was in the fourth standard and there was a marriage happening in my name. So they have a ritual of giving burning marks to the bride. The bride was damn scared, she was totally shivering. One of her relatives pulled her hand tightly and took a piece of wood from the wood of which the other end was dead hot and they simply touched it. She could not even scream out. All she did wept out furiously. I mean, what the crap? Marriage exploitation is okay, then domestic violence is okay with the family, but they don't let divorce and the separation to happen because that let down your status quo. Discrimination. We all blame Australians, Germans, Europeans, Americans for being racist by the EUA and home country. We use derogatory names such as Chinki for the Northeastern, Bihari, Jharkhandi, Tamilian, Kannadi. And to my wonder, I have also heard people calling Jammu Kashmir people as a terrorist to make a fun of it. I know it's bad. Stereotype thinking. We are ready to go extreme of it. Take law in our own hand. Go for honor killing. But we don't let intercaste marriage, love marriage to happen. I have a friend of mine who is working as a project manager of the largest IT firm. And he loves his three-year-old daughter immensely. But he has a very strong opinion about her marriage. That if she's choosing her partner from out of his class, he will chop 20 pieces. Talking about sex, Kama Sutra is part of our culture, but sexual education is still taboo in many families and societies. English is no more a language in our country, trust me, it is no. It has become one of the major parameters to judge your intelligence. We all talk about gender equality. We hardly give damn about the violence against men by the women. We are tired of corrupt bureaucrats, but we never fail in driving a traffic cop. <coughs> we all are done with a lot of stuff and the list goes on. But having said that, what could be the reason for it? I was wondering, is it only the lack of education and the lack of awareness? But no, it also happens with the very high families too. So called VVIPs, VIPs, very highly educated, they also do it. So, what my analogy says, and what I understand, one of the major reasons is social stigma. We are so concerned about what others would say that we are ready to go extremely high. We are ready to take extreme and take a law in our own hand. We are so much diversified in terms of social, in terms of cultural, in terms of tradition, that itself is a conflicting nature. We do not have any common value social system. We are self conflicting in our belief system. Second, we became global citizens. Trying to adapt westernization, having Indianism in us, which itself is a conflict. 
extremely media involvement in each and every aspect of our life for their own business and the PRPs. Of course, there is local and the political input by the respective leaders and lack of women initiative at their house. But having said that, is it fair enough to play the blame game? Are they responsible to do something? So what we could do about it? Start raising question why? W X Y Y. Use your own brain before you follow something, before you follow someone. Trust me, these are the two major reasons that half of the community automatically react to this. And the last but not least, educate yourself. Make yourself aware. And who's you better than and create awareness around you? Who's you better than the community? Because they are not only the future of our country, but they are the also foundation of next generation society. So all I wanted to end with, when we change this, then when the quality changes, please do not expect. Because action always means intention for